everybody. Welcome back to Grandma's Corner, where making videos is so much fun. And you know what? You actually can learn a few things too. Today, we are going to be making a beautiful butterfly magnet. And we're also going to learn a little bit about butterflies. So here, I have this great picture that shows some of the body parts. Did you know that butterflies have three body parts? They have the head and they have the middle part, which is called the thorax, and then the bottom part, which is called the abdomen. The head is where the antenna are attached the thorax is where the beautiful wings are attached and the legs are attached. That's the moving part. And this abdomen is the part that holds all the things like our abdomen has. The stomach, the intestines, and a variety of other organs. So what we're going to do today is we are going to get a Clothespin. These are clothespins that were used years and years and years ago. And today, I don't think they use them much more than for crafts. And it's a great craft item. We're going to start off by getting a black Sharpie. And you're going to have your clothespin where if you pinch it, it opens at the top. You're going to create a circle and that's going to represent the head. And then in the middle part, you're going to make another shape, more oblong. That's going to become the thorax. And down below, the abdomen is actually a little more narrow. So you're going to want to not fill in that whole space. All right, you now have the three body parts for your coffee filter butterfly. So what do you need? You need a coffee filter. What else do you need? Some dye. We're going to pull out one coffee filter and as you can see I already laid it out flat. Be sure that you do this on a cookie sheet or a jelly roll pan of some sort and put some paper, or I have on here parchment paper, to collect any dribbles that might happen. All right, we have our four colors, and this is the most fun part. Just be careful. Make sure that you wear something that you don't mind if you get a little dye on. All right, I'm gonna take my green, and I'm just gonna put splot, 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 Oh, maybe five or six around the edge. I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow, maybe in between the green. The same thing with my red, maybe in between a green and a yellow. Again, you don't need very many. Four or five little drops is fine around the edges. And then I'm going to throw a blue in there. And we're going to let this dry. So we have to put this off to the side. When it has dried, it's going to come back and it's going to look like this. Isn't that beautiful? You're going to take this now and you're going to kind of gather it together in the middle. And that's where you're going to put the top of your clothespin right there in the middle and squish it down to where the thorax is at. Then you can fluff this up really nicely. Now we have to do a few more things. We have to get ourselves some antenna. Look at those antenna. All I did was I took a scrap piece of paper. Notice it's not very big. I folded it in half, and just with my scissors, I cut out just a shape that would look kind of like an antenna. You might have to practice this a few times. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be two pieces, little wild things here, 
that look like antenna. And then I'm gonna take another scrap piece of paper and I'm going to color them black. So that way we can see them much better. Well, I've already done that with my other ones, as you can see here. I've already put the marker on there, so I don't need to do that right now. But how do we get this thing to hang on your refrigerator? Well, you know, sometimes in the mail, your parents get advertisements and they're on magnetic pieces. I always save those magnets because you never know when you might need one. So if you take this magnet, if you cut a skinny little piece off of the edge, then you can go ahead and glue it like I already did on the back of the clothespin. Here's the one without the magnet. So I will take the new magnet and put it on right there. I like to use Aileen's Tacky Glue because it's nice and thick and it dries really nicely. And before you know it, you've got yourself a project and I'm gonna put my other piece back on here. Fluff this up a little tiny bit and this is now ready for my refrigerator. Isn't that beautiful? You might want to make a whole group of butterflies. And remember, how many body parts does a butterfly have? Three. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Hey, thank you for joining us. And to add to this learning videotape, you may want to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.